With the COVID-19 pandemic still ongoing, it can be easy to focus our attention on that and not think of other serious diseases that endanger us, especially our children. As parents, we need to keep in mind that dengue is still around and can pose an even greater danger to our children than COVID-19. In general, COVID-19 presents a lower risk of severe symptoms for children. Dengue is the opposite because children are especially at risk for severe symptoms and even death from dengue. Children, especially younger ones, have weaker immune systems and are more vulnerable to severe dengue. That is why it is very important to learn how we can reduce the risk of dengue infection for our sons and daughters. Here's what parents should remember. Prevention is the best option. Dengue has no known cure. This is why the best protection for our children is to not get infected by the dengue virus. Reduce dengue risk by keeping clean surroundings inside and outside the house to prevent mosquitoes from gathering. Whenever possible, put screens on windows and doorways to keep mosquitoes out. Have your children wear long sleeve tops and pants to shield them from mosquito bites. Apply child safe mosquito repellent lotions or sprays to keep mosquitoes away. If needed, use mosquito nets. Indoor plants may attract mosquitoes. If possible, try to avoid too many of them or choose plants that are less attractive to mosquitoes. Most importantly, get rid of stagnant water inside and outside your house. Throw away old tires, empty cans, pots, or bottles that may gather water. Stagnant water is a breeding ground for mosquitoes. Empty or cover basins and other water containers. Keep immunity strong by having your children eat a healthy diet and get enough sleep, sunlight, and exercise. Watch out for these common dengue symptoms, severe headache, pain behind the eyes, muscle and joint pains, fever, nausea, vomiting, swollen glands, skin rash. If two or more symptoms are present, take your child to a doctor. Severe dengue symptoms include severe abdominal pain, persistent vomiting, rapid breathing, fatigue, bleeding gums, blood in the vomit, restlessness. When these symptoms appear, get immediate medical attention. Dengue becomes serious when the virus starts damaging blood vessels. This may lead to dengue hemorrhagic fever. This may worsen into dengue shock syndrome that could trigger drops in blood pressure. If a child's condition does not improve, dengue shock syndrome can be fatal. Do not take dengue symptoms for granted. While dengue can be a risky illness, Parents are not powerless. Reduce dengue risk factors, see a doctor if there are symptoms, and boost your child's chances for a healthy recovery.